In sports today, baseball's longest postseason drought comes to an end, and the Maple Leafs start the season with a loss. Here's Samantha Singh with the details and the rest of your sports news. Thanks, Morgan. Less than two hours to go before the Blue Jays return to the playoffs after 22 years. First pitch against the Rangers is today at 337, so now's the time to slip out the back door. The AL East Division banner will be unveiled at the Rogers Center half an hour before game time. The roof of the dome is expected to be closed for today's game. Jays starting lineup has Troy Tulowitzki batting fifth, Justin Smokes playing first base, and Russell Martin behind the plate. To Pittsburgh now in last night's wild card game against the Cubs, Dexter Fowler reaches base before Kyler Schwarber hits a moonshot to right field. And that one has left the ballpark. Chicago, Chicago fans celebrate a 4-0 win against the Pirates and move on to Kansas City. The Leafs were back in the loss column last night after falling to the Montreal Canadiens. Toronto on top early when P.K. Subban finds Matt Pacioretty. And on Montreal's first shot, the Leafs are already behind. Home team tries to respond in second period when JVR tips the puck from close range to tie the score. The Habs would not be denied as Alex Galchenyuk scores on the rebound. A tough start for the Leafs as they lose 3-1. Do you know the Marlins man that lives at baseball games? This Miami Marlins fan was spotted last night at last night's wildcard game in Pittsburgh, right behind home plate. He was also spotted one night earlier in New York in his usual orange attire. The Marlins man just pops up at important games and was just captured was captured at this year's Preakness Stakes horse race and last year's World Series. This Miami fan could be at a ball game near you this fall. Now with a look at what Mother Nature has in store, here's Christina McAllister. It's nothing but clear skies and sunshine right now, but the rain will come rolling in later this evening. But hopefully, the Jays fans will be celebrating before the rain hits. Today's high will reach 16 and drop down to 14 later tonight. Tomorrow will be gloomy, but warm, with a high of 19 and a 30% chance of showers in the morning. You'll need to bundle up in the evening, though, as temperatures will fall to 4 degrees. Sunshine will bring us into Thanksgiving weekend on Saturday with a high of 14 and a low of 7. But for tonight, let's hope the Jays knock it out of the park. That's your three-day weather forecast. Back to Morgan in the newsroom. After two decades of suffering through a basement-dwelling ball team, Blue Jays fans are understandably thrilled these days. And it's inspired hundreds of online videos, both good and bad. But this one, by a 14-year-old boy, is a keeper. These chains won't get in Toronto singer, known as Gus, found his own way to support his beloved team, the Toronto Blue Jays. With his excitement for the 2015 playoff run, Gus wrote a song called Breaking Out, which he calls a Blue Jays anthem. After one day, the video has already over 2,500 views. Have a listen. That's all for today. For details of these stories and more, check out humbernews.ca. Humber News is produced by the students in the journalism program at the North Campus. I'm Morgan Gallagher. Join us tomorrow for our next news update.